GLM 4.7 has just been released and if you are going to check their benchmark you're gonna see that uh, it has an increase in uh, the benchmarks and it does a pretty good job if you compare it with GLM 4.6 and is not that far behind the Cloud Sonnet 4.5 and I have a plan from them and in this video we're going to put it to a test to see how well it does and how fast it is and if the plan it's uh, working because later there have been a lot of uh, complaints that their uh, plans they are not that uh, smart or fast and I wanted also to check the plan to see how it does I have the plan for a couple of months and in here you're gonna see their benchmark and you see that uh, it has pretty good benchmarks and it is an uh, increase over the GLM 4.6 if you're going to check it in here and you're gonna see that the benchmarks are pretty good but I'm not interested in benchmark I just want to see how well it does so in here you see for instance the terminal bench 2.0 it is at 41 right now it was 24 in the past which is a beginning here they provided some details with styles from GLM 4.7 compare it to GLM 1.6 so yeah if we're going to check the UI we're gonna see that the UIs are better with the GLM 4.7 and yeah it uh, it looks like it is a increase in UI also they have uh, modified the thinking and basically right now it is also thinking between the between the actions and right now it uh, is smarter supposedly and it can and think better for the things that it needs so it is thinking between tool calls and you see in here that it has some details on how the thinking models are working we're going to see if he has any errors and yeah i mean you can run this model so locally but I am using their coding plan to run this I am in the last plan the max plan and uh, I wanted to see how their plans are working and if uh, they are usable so yeah and in here if we're going to check the previous test that I did so this is a test that I did with uh, Gemini 3 Pro and this is how the website uh, is looking done by Gemini so you see that it is a nice interface and Gemini 3 Pro it's uh, the best one in designing UI that I wanted to show you how it's uh, doing and uh, I'm curious to see what GLM 4.7 will do and if we will be able to create let's say better logos SVGs and things like that you see yeah, the Gemini 3 Pro did a pretty good job then in here I've used Devstral 2 which is free currently in December. I will let the link in the description. In here you see that Devstral 2 also did a pretty good job. And uh, that's why I'm really curious to see what the GLM 4.7 is able to do when we are going to tell it to use the same prompt. So yeah, these are the previous websites. And in here I've configured an Astro project and I've configured Droid to use the coding plan from GLM. The most powerful one because supposedly it is faster we're going to see how fast it is and in here I've started Droid and yeah you see in here that I am using the GLM 4.7 with their coding plan of course this is the name I have configured everything in the config file and in here this is the prompt that we are gonna use so what I have told it in here because the um, GLM 4.7 it has a knowledge cutoff like uh, mid end of 2024 so it's quite old I want him to use these skills like a front-end designer Astro expert that will tell it how to work with Astro it was really good in the past working with Astro but I want to be better and I want him to know Taylor CSS 4 and I've provided him a skill in here and basically this is a script I will tell it to create the website I have already installed Astro in here with Tailwind setup. This is the basic thing and I want him to create my menu footer and things like that. And I will just copy this prompt and I will put it in here. I will hit enter 
And right now, let's see if GLM 4.7 is smart enough in Droid to be able to work with the skills because I'm interested to see the other models can work with these skills, the one that I've tested in the past. So you see that it loaded the skills right now and right now it is going and it is reading the structure. So in the past, like uh, Flash did this in three minutes, Gemini Pro took 10 minutes to finish. I'm curious to see how much the GLM 4.7 it will take and if it can do a good job like designing the SVGs because I told him to create SVGs for us and um, create the Astro layout and everything to see if it has like a good design because supposedly the front-end designer skill should provide him a even better way to work with these skills. And right now you see that right he went and created the color scheme in the global CSS. And this looks to not be that fast. Of course, everyone, I think it's testing right now the GLM 4.7, but in the end, we're going to see how much it will take for this to finish. Okay. It's also thinking and that's why it may take a longer time to finish with everything, but we'll let him uh, cook and I will, uh, I will let this work for a while and I will come back in different, uh, in different section here so we can see. So right now it's creating three components for, yeah, the logo and the icon panel in the same time. So right now he created like all the icons in here. So he thought for some time and then he just created all the SVGs. Not bad. So the Droid is configured to use also the background processes. So I guess that's why he is able to create a lot of things in the same time. So these are the logos, SEO component, and in here it is using props pretty good. We can see it created a header for us. It created a footer. So yeah, it's about four minutes. This thing, it reset it, I see, but it took like four minutes till now. Here it's already done. I'm curious to see how it will look because it has a lot of lines. So he finished with the section. He one shot it all the sections in here. So if you're going to see like project section, services, testimonial section. So yeah, CTA section. So he went and created all of these things. And right now he is working on the pages. So it shouldn't be long. Right now you have like four minutes before with five minutes in here, nine minutes. Right now he is at the last step. So he created all the pages. So in here, if we're going to see, let's see the pages. So he's thinking for some time and then it just goes and creates everything. You see in here the about page, it has like 260 lines. Services, it's using the icons and what he created. Using props, contact page again. Layout, it is modified to use the SEO thing in there. Index page was modified to use the sections that he created. Right now he's just at the last step and he's creating the readme file for us and it's creating the favicon I see. Let's wait for him to finish with everything and after we can see how well it did. It didn't have any error till now. He created everything and um, it went and used the tools pretty good and uh, yeah it took like about 15 minutes to finish this project so this is not the fastest model i guess if you are comparing this with the gpt 5.2 codex it is about the same thing 
So uh, it's similar in terms of speed from what I am seeing. So in case you want something that is very fast, maybe this is not for you. But let's see how well it does. And in here it created a favicon, put it in public. Okay. Readme file, it's created, I think. Readme. Yes, it is created. And right now what he's trying to do is trying to remove the welcome. Okay. I will allow it to remove the welcome component. It's doing a build. I see that. I think it has an error. It's good that it's testing to see if this is working out of the box. There are some errors in here. Some warnings. Basically, this is from the... Yeah, some of them are from the tailwind and this error. It's the error. I think that it's causing the problem. Okay, right now it's running the build again. Okay. Let's wait for him to finish with all the tests and afterwards we can go and see if it's working and how it is looking. Okay. Okay, so right now it finished with everything. It created memory with all the things that he did. How you can go and uh, run this, which is pretty good. Let's copy this and I will open a new terminal. npm run dev. This is the port for 323. Let's see. Okay, I'm entering in here. And this is what he was able to do. Okay. And this is not looking good at all. This is like bad. Mm, this is what Sonnet usually does. Again, this is not looking good. Mm. This is what Sonnet is doing, but it's having this thing in here, which is pretty bad. So yeah, not too good. Contact, I don't know what he did in here, but he messed out this thing. But even if you, okay, let's, let's say that this is looking okay. Columns in here. The design is not that good from my point of view. If we're going to compare it with Deathstral, I think Deathstral did a better job. It you cannot even compare it. And if you are going to check the Google Gemini 3 Pro, again, it's better. So I don't think that this is uh, pretty good from my point of view. I think uh, Google and Devstral did a better job. And um, frankly, I would have expected more from the GLM 4.7. It didn't uh, excel in speed. It didn't do a good design and basically this is the same problem that I've used for the other things and it just created something that it's basic in here. You see in here again, also in the footer, the problem, yeah. So this is GLM 4.7. I will just test it on other scenarios to see how it does, but I can say that uh, after this first initial test with the same product I'm, I'm using for others, it didn't impress me at all. So what is your opinion on GLM 4.7 and uh, how is your experience with GLM 4.7? You had a better experience? 